Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with a small little Walmart perfume haul to share with you. So every once in a while, I will get onto Walmart's website to look for fragrances. What kind of got me started on this one was I ordered some decants of um, some Cremo perfumes, and I wanted to make sure that if I wanted a full bottle of one of these, that they that Walmart did have them available on their website, which they do which I did end up ordering, but I, but while looking for those, before the decants came, um, I got to looking at other perfumes, and sometimes, you guys, you can find some really, really good deals on Walmart's website, just from random sellers, not even from Walmart, kind of from their marketplace sellers. So anyways, um, I wanted to go ahead and share uh, four perfumes that I picked up from Walmart and then I've also got my scent bird which I may as well go ahead and share in this video as well as one perfume that I picked up off of Mercari recently that I'm super excited about so anyways I'm gonna jump right in I'm gonna jump in with the boxed perfumes that I picked up from Walmart first so this is one that I found that I was super excited about I've wanted this perfume for so long this is Noah from Cacherelle this is the Eau de Toilette formulation I don't I think there's an Eau de Parfum formulation of this as well, but I, I really don't know. Um, this is a perfume that I've been dying to get my nose on. This little bottle, oh my gosh, is this not the cutest thing? I love this. It's, this is a tiny little one ounce bottle and it's got the little pearl thing in the bottom and it's just so cute and this is the sprayer. So that little cap on top is the sprayer. Oh my gosh, do I love this. This is such a weird little perfume, but I love it so much. It reminds me of like the 90s, 2000, early 2000s. Actually, it really reminds me of the 90s. It's this kind of weird, fresh, soapy fragrance, but it's kind of like very wispy and ethereal smelling. I know it's got like a weird blend of notes in it, I think it's got coffee in it, but yeah, I as soon as I smelled it, as soon as I sprayed it, I haven't given this a full wear test yet, so I'm not totally sure what it's going to perform like, but I did test it on my hand, and it definitely took me on a journey. It was definitely not a linear fragrance at all, and it is definitely more vintage smelling. And I love it. I love a fresh, like ethereal smelling perfume. So yeah, I love this. I'm super excited to finally have it in my collection and yeah, I just think it's stunning. So I picked up this one ounce bottle for $16, which I've never seen this perfume under like $25 on any of the gray market websites. So I felt like when I saw it for $16 on, on Walmart's website, I just snapped it up. So anyways, that is the first one. That is Noah from Cacherelle. I'm super excited to finally have that in my collection. Okay, this next one, I was really excited to find this because I I really enjoyed the first Cacherelle Yes I Am fragrance, like the original, and there are three flankers to it at this point, which I don't even know when they came out. They've just been like releasing these, and I really want to get my nose on them, but I don't want to purchase full bottles of them. Um, Nordstrom Rack has all of them on their website for a really good deal. You can get a one ounce bottle for I think $20 or between $20 and $25 a bottle. But they had this on the Walmart website. This is the Yes I Am Pink First Flanker and this is a 10 mil travel spray. And yeah, I was super excited to find this on Walmart, I think it was $11. So yeah, way better to be able to blind buy a travel spray and not have to blind buy a full bottle. This is smells so good, you guys. This one is, number one, it reminds me of like a Britney Spears fragrance. It smells, it smells like a Britney Spears fragrance, but you know, a little bit better quality there's something so like fruity and fun about these perfumes. To me, it retains that original Yes I Am DNA, but this one is a little bit, I don't know, it's a little bit juicier smelling. It's a little bit lighter smelling. It's just, it's so good. It's such a good one. 
It's like sugary, juicy fruits and berries. But again, it still has that Yes I Am DNA, which I adore. It's such a good one, you guys. It's such a good one. I was so happy <laughs> to be able to pick it up in a travel spray and to get my nose on it. Um, I've got a sample of the newest one that just came out, the Yes I Am Glorious. I've got that coming in my fragrance net order, which I will be hauling later today. Um, the only one that I have not smelled at this point is the one with the purple cap which I need to get my nose on. But yeah, this is amazing. I love it. If you love juicy, sugary, berry kind of perfumes, I think you would really like it. So anyways, that is Yes I Am Pink first. Next, I already showed you guys this because I wore it immediately after I got it. So you would have seen this in my last What I Wore Last Week video if you watched that one. This is Jovan Musk for Women. The first time I sprayed it on, it lasted all of maybe 30 minutes. But then I sprayed it on again and I went hard the second time just like I did the first time. And it, it's almost like it layered up on itself. And then it was a beast. From that point on, I could smell it until I woke up the next morning. Like it was in my clothes, it was in my hair. I could smell it strong for the rest of the day and into the next day, seriously. you just, It's almost like it layers up on itself, which is weird for a perfume, but it definitely did. Um, I'm gonna get the oil. Somebody told me to get the oil formulations or the oil versions of these if I can. So I'm gonna get the oil version of this and then I'll be able to put the oil on and then layer the spray over and hopefully that would help with longevity, though. I feel like as long as you layer it up on itself, it'll perform just fine, even with just this spray. I love this. It's fresh, it's clean, it's vintage smelling, and it's amazing, and I adore it. So that is Jovan Musk. I've just been dying to get that back in my collection for a long time, and I just finally bit the bullet and did it, even though it's like a $10 perfume. It's so inexpensive. Okay, and then last but not least from Walmart, I grabbed this one here. This is Coach Dreams. And this is the Eau de Parfum formulation. I have had my eye on this perfume for a long time because it's got a cactus note in it. I've heard really, really good things about this. And I'm not gonna lie, I love the bottle of the, on this too. I think it's so pretty. It's such a, Coach has some of the prettiest bottles. I love the really beautiful, simple label. It's just such a pretty, like classy, label. I can't tell if that's focusing or not. And then this really pretty flower and the flower is, um, that's the sprayer on the flower. So you do press the flower to spray it. And then this pretty kind of like leather, pleather, whatever it is, pink thing around the neck. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this at all for me. I think that this would be beautiful on somebody else. This is a little too sharp smelling. Um, I'm gonna be reselling this for the same reason that I ended up reselling my uh, Anna Sui Mermaid Fantasia fragrance. There's something too tart. Um, there's something too sharp smelling about it to me. Um, yeah, I just, it's, I don't like it on me. I don't like these kinds of fragrances on me. My skin pulls out that sharpness and it ends up being too, I don't know, like not inviting smelling at all. It just ends up smelling really, really strange on me. And it's very, very strong. This perfume was nuclear. And, if, and it's funny because it makes you wonder, is it, is, was it nuclear smelling to me just because I didn't like it and I didn't want to smell it on me anymore? Or is it actually nuclear and that's just how it goes with fragrances that you don't like? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, but I can tell you this was nuclear on me. I could not get this off my hand for hours. I washed my hands like five times and I seriously could not get it off for like hours. So yeah, sadly this was a blind by fail. This one is going to be going up on my Mercari. Um, I think I paid $35 for this one, so it was a little bit on the pricey side for me, but yeah, I really, really, it was it was a good deal from, from what I've seen out there. So yeah, and I'm really, I'm excited that I was able to finally smell it. So anyways, that is Coach Dreams. That was, that was a sad fail. Okay, let's talk about my scent bird. Um, 
Oh, I didn't, I didn't have luck with my scent bird. Let's talk about how they're coming packaged now too. I am liking this new like um, tube that they're coming in. I really like the new color, the gray. So I picked up Skylar Coconut Grove this month and this is nice. It's a pretty coconut fragrance, but it's got that metallic musk in the base. So that metallic musk makes it perform really, really well in comparison to, the only thing I can compare it to is the Skylar Vanilla. Um, that's the only fragrance that I have from Skylar in my collection and it performs like trash. Both formulations, the Eau de Toilette as well as the Eau de Perf Parfum, um, perform like trash. This one is a beast. It's an absolute beast because it's got that metallic musk in it. So it smells more expensive. It smells niche because it's got that metallic musk in it, but I do not, I can't tolerate that metallic musk. So yeah, that also is going up on Mercari. And then last but not least, I have been wanting this fragrance for so long because um, one of you lovelies told me that you found this at TJ Maxx and that it was your favorite, that you absolutely adored it, and I've had my eye out for it for a while. So this is the Urban Outfitters fragrance called Ombre Etoile, and people have been finding these at TJ Maxx and then trying to sell them on Mercari for like $30 and $40. They're out of their minds. They're finding them at TJ Maxx for $12.99. All of us in the perfume community know that and we're not gonna pay $30 or $40 for them. So thankfully, this sweetheart of a girl, um, she had it listed for I think $12. I offered 10 and she accepted. So I paid $10 for this, which I think is completely fair for a used perfume that was $13 to begin with. Um, so, but anyways, this is stunning. And she sent the sweetest card. Um, people that do this, like just random strangers that you buy stuff from, they're just so sweet. I, you know, you guys know I have a soft spot in my heart for handwritten notes and cards anyways, but yeah, it just says, thank you so much for your purchase. I hope you love your new perfume. I mean, just so sweet and such an extra step to take, especially when you only made $10 off of it, not even that after all of her fees and stuff. So I just think it was so sweet, but I adore this. This perfume is so good. It is... Oh my gosh, it's everything that the person who recommended it to me said it was. It's so good. It's like, it's not very ambery at all. It's more, well, maybe it's a little bit ambery, but it's more just like a sweet, syrupy, kind of nondescript sweet, syrupy fragrance. I think it's going to be amazing to layer with. In fact, I think that new um, Mona... I can't remember what it's called. It's called, the perfume is called Oro. I think that this is going to layer fantastically with that perfume that I just got. She's a Mexican singer. She, somebody told me she's like the Mexican Madonna, which is really cool. But anyways, um, yeah, I think this is going to, this warms up on the skin and it starts to smell kind of like warm caramel. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So yeah, I'm so happy that I finally found a bottle of this for a decent price. Um, it's really, it's nice. But it is an Urban Outfitters fragrances and these fragrances last all of 15, 20 minutes on. So you definitely get what you pay for with these. But I do really like it. So anyways, that is Urban Outfitters Ombre Etoile. And that is gonna be it, guys. That is a little Walmart perfume haul that I definitely wanted to share with you because you can definitely find some gems on Walmart if you just, you have to kind of dig though because you have to get past like the stuff that they carry in their stores and get into some of the other sellers and yeah, get to some of the little gems that you can find. But I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.